Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the team of the week that was released, just like we do every single week. Also guys, want to mention, uh, I'm on the hunt to try and finish off the team builder sets. I think I'm through like eight teams right now, um, so I'm really f focusing on trying to get that done. I really want that Jerome McGinley, obvious reasons. Um, but, uh, that being said, join my Discord, uh, down below in the comment, or sorry, in the description, you'll see a link to my Discord channel. Um, there's a lot of guys in there doing the same thing. Basically, what we've set up is a team builder, uh, side on my Discord, and basically what we're doing is just if anyone has duplicates and other people need it, we're just doing one-for-one -one trades instead of trying to just hunt and pay 10k for every single, you know, Connor Garland out there. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking to complete the sets, let's help each other out. No reason we shouldn't, and uh, it's going to make things a lot more easy in terms of trying to make these. So, uh, let's get into today's video covering the team of the week. All right, we will kick things off with the 92 Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley, always one of the underrated and undervalued cards in NHL uh, Hockey Ultimate Team. He's six foot three, which is end game size, and then he's got decent speed now and with Magician and Workhorse. He's got over 92 acceleration, which is nice. Obviously, with Spark, that gets up to 96, and then his speed can go to 92 with Distributor. Shots in the mid 90s. Hand stats are almost perfect, especially with Magician on. Uh, body checking is 88. Stick checking, defense awareness over 90. This is a really, really good. A uh, right-handed card like I would you know obviously having the 92 line a would be a bit better just because of the synergies as well as his shot being a little bit better and he's slightly taller but if you can't afford him this is a good makeup if you are someone who likes to control the play in the offensive zone cycle things be um, you know methodical with that this is always a good card and he always goes cheaper than what a 92 overall card should be I don't know what it is but Mark Scheifele I don't know if it's because he plays in Winnipeg or what it is but always a really good value in NHL then we've got the 89 Nico Heischer. So with Howitzer and Thief, Howitzer obviously makes this card really good uh, in terms of skating. So 96 speed with Distributor, 94 acceleration, and his agility is great. Uh, balance is a little low in terms of, you know, an 89, but that's fine. 87 is okay. With Howitzer, he's got mid-90 shooting, hand stats all around 93, uh, body checking at 91. Even with Thief activated, you're not going to play him at center. He's got only 84 face-offs with Thief on. Uh, so this is a winger card, but he's more than fast enough. Like, this is a nice left-handed winger card, guys. If you are uh, looking for a card to upgrade from, like, the base guys or, you know, kind of get into that higher tier of, of left winger, say you're trying to move on from... Uh, Connor McDavid, the base Connor McDavid, this would be a decent option as well. So watch out for this Nico Heischer. Then we've got the 91 Mitch Marner. Yeah, Mitch Marner cards are always just kind of meh. Um, we're starting to see a little bit better Mitch Marner cards now, though. So with Light the Lamp and Wingman activated, again, his acceleration will be really high with Spark. So 96, this, uh, a lot of, this is basically the right-handed version of Nico Heischer. The one thing I will say is he always gets bumped off the puck so easily, even though he's six foot. I think it's because he's only 175. Um, his wrist shot accuracy can get up to 99 with both synergies activated. Which is really nice. His hand stats are all in the 90s. And body checking is, you know, 81. Again, this is almost the exact same card as Nico Heischer. So if you're looking for a speedy right-handed winger card and you can't afford some of the big boys like the 93 Kessel, that kind of thing, this would be a good option. And we've got the 89 Josh Bailey. Uh, nothing special here. Kind of ho-hum. I mean, again, speed at 87 and acceleration, so he can touch 90 with those. With synergies, his shooting, though, even with synergies activated uh, in the low 90s, high, 80, high 80s. <clears throat> Body checking is nice, so stick checking defensive awareness. Like, you could do worse, um, and because it's not a very popular pa player in Josh Bailey, you could probably grab him for pretty cheap. I packed this card, so and I think I only sold him for like 50k. So uh, be on the lookout for him. He would be a decent card for anyone, uh, you know, free-to-play guys looking to upgrade on the left-hand inside. Then we got my man, the 89, Logan Couture, with Magician and a passing playmaker. Magician on this card is kind of nice. Again, I've said this over throughout the year. Uh, Magician is a nice synergy in the fact that it really impacts all of the stats that help with L2s and deke moves and things like that. And when you have a player that's got, you know, the high 80s or the low 90s, Magician can kind of bump them up and get over that hump. But it's really not a synergy that I find all that important. Passing playmaker, it just helps a little bit more as well, but again, not a synergy that's super important. His speed and acceleration can get over 90. His shot, though, is kind of low, and he's got to play on the wing even though uh, he is a center. I, dude, I swear I will make it my mission this summer to make every single centerman that actually plays center start with at least 80 face-offs because... Like I, anyways, body checking is eighty five, which is okay. Six one. This is a, this is a nice card. Again, I think I might rather have the um, eighty seven with Howitzer, but this is pretty good. 
We got the 85 Tavo Terra Vine again with Howitzer. Uh, this is a great free to play card right off the bat. Um, so. 77 body checking is absolutely brutal, but the 90 speed before distributor, um, and then he's got, you know, high 80s shooting. Great card in terms of, you know, right out of the gate. If you are just looking to start, you, you need someone to to jump into the lineup on the left-hand side. This, would, this could do uh, the trick, and he's going to be cheap. Brock McGinn next with Magician and Wingman. Uh, even with both synergies activated, just not good enough at this stage of the game. If you packed him, this would be a sell. 81 Pavel Zaka with Speedster. Again, Speedster is always a nice synergy, but just not enough. We're at a stage now where uh, you kind of need a certain speed and shot and low 80s. Even if you're first starting out in the game, there's better options for you for sure. Like I would 81 Pavel Zaka and the 85 Tavo Teravine, and the price difference isn't going to be that that crazy. Then we've got the 86 Anthony Duclair with Light the Lamp and Workhorse activated. This is a nice, cheap, fast card. Like, Workhorse on this card makes it great. He's going to have almost max acceleration. Uh, speed will be at 94 with Distributor. His shot is in the high 80s. Like, this is a really good card. Like, um, really, really undervalued. You should be able to grab him pretty cheap as well. And again, speed kills in the beginning of the game when you're first starting out building your team. If you can get both these synergies activated, you're laughing. Then we've got the lower guys, uh, Robin Kovacs with Heart and Soul and Gladiator. Not much to say here. Um, you can pass on him. Daniel Audet, same thing with uh, Barrage and Passing Playmaker. And then Cedric uh, day, day or so with Spark and Light the Lamp. It's fun. His acceleration gets up to 88, but yeah, no way. He's 5'8". Pass. All right, let's take a look at the defenseman. We've got the 90, Chris Letang with Passing Playmaker and Gladiator. Um, not a bad card, uh, like, because his body checking with Gladiator gets over 90. Same with defensive awareness and, um, stick checking. That's great. Um, those stats all being up, almost touching 99. <laughs> then if you get speed and acceleration boosted with Spark and Distributor, yeah, like I said, this could be a really nice card. And again, you're not going to pay the top dollar um, because, well, everyone's trying to make those those team builder cards as well um, as the master items are still out there. So these team of the week cards, you could get some sneaky value in. So I'd watch out for the 90 Chris Letang. Then we've got the 86 Darnell Nurse. The wingman is shut down. Um, you know, great card. He needs to be a little bit faster. If we start to see, you know, a Darnell Nurse touch 90, his speed might be you know, good enough. Uh, six foot four is great, but again, your 85 speed is tough at this point again, because you've got all the Jack Hughes out there. This card could be nice though. If you are good at positioning in his own zone, he's elite. Um, so with synergies, you know, you could, you, this could be a usable card for sure. Cause he's got the size, the 78 Jake Bean with barrage and speedster. Even with those synergies, this is a pass. Neil Pionk, the 85 overall, was shut down. And Workhorse, again, same thing. With all the synergies activated, still not enough, in my opinion, to go out and get. This would be a sell right away. The 79, Henrik Tom, Tomernas with, with Balanced and Howitzer. Um, yeah, six foot one, 87 speed is nice. His shot accuracy, 72. There's much better cards you can go out and get. And then the 87, Brandon, Braden Schneider with Speedster and Gladiator. Not terrible. Sneaky, decent card with 99 slap shot power and 89 speed before distributor. Like, you could do worse. This is a sneaky, decent card. Be on the lookout for this if you're looking for a right-handed defenseman. Go take a look at the Braden Schneider. And then lastly, let's take a look at the goaltender. We've got... Ugh, okay, never mind. And then the backup is 79 Colton Ellis with distributor and swarm. The synergy is nice, but that's pretty much it just for the backup uh, in terms of synergy. So that'll do it, guys, for the team of the week. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Uh, and, yeah, anything that you want to know about it, just let me know or hop into my stream. Again, I start my stream about 10 a.m. Eastern time every single day. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one, boys.